tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Ankalaev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world, for my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what Pom Pompey means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovich fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. I'm certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Take for this light heavyweight title fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one action. We'll see how Alex Pereira chooses to proceed. He is going to have the striking advantage against most of the men in this division, and that is likely how he's going to choose to attack tonight. Leg kicks are truly the stuff of legend, and he doesn't throw it full force, just touching that lead leg, and oftentimes all it takes is one to change the complexion of the entire fight. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Beautiful straight punch there by Magomed Akalai. Leg kick. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, 
down, leading with the right hand. You don't see that every day. It was certainly effective for him there. If you're going to throw your power hand first, you got to be very aware not to get counted. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Circling away towards the left hand. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, another ground strike gets through. And back to his feet. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Nice jab by Ankalaya. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Inside leg kick is there. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Oh, brutal knee to the body. He's hurt bad. to the head. Misses with the right hand. Ankalaev <laughs> gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, he is a true fight finisher, and Alex Pereira has really managed risk well tonight. Not necessarily going for the kill shot. We'll see if it materializes here late in the round. Well, I think it speaks to his evolution of an MMA. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Leg kick lands. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. Big power shot there. Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Jim. I'm surprised he's still standing. Because if Alex Pajeda lands that left hook, generally you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. Big strike lands. Big strike.
strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. kick there by Padilla. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing. Oh, Uncle Lyev's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like they let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to fight that pitch. Ankalaev's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds. Of oh, this fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, big shots raining down. Making all these shots count. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Got to be careful there. Now he's going full mount. Goliath's going for the sub here. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Two minutes to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Uncle Lyev. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. He's playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, you heard it there from Buff, Alex Pereira, your winner by knockout.